hi, I got new things. And when I say that, it means I'm trying new things um, because I noticed I need something uh, uh, for my workflow that sometimes I have problems with doing something that I want to do. And then I try to fix that. So I got this monitor here. I will show that in a, in a second, just so you see everything here. And I'm filming with a different camera. That's the set E set V E10 and here my Sony a7S3 is just here so you can see it I will film with this in a second so monitor is up here this is new and then a little bracket here that has three uh, uh, cold shoes so I can still put my microphone here because there's just one on the, on the camera um, but I need two for the microphone as well and this video uh, um, camera stand um, I will show that also in, in detail, but just look at it. I'm a filmmaker. And if you're asking why is he wearing a bathrobe, it's cold in here. It's 15 degrees in here. Outside we have minus four and windy uh, because there's no heat up here. That's my only heat and I only turn it on uh, when uh, I'm up here and I'm not every day up here and usually uh, in the evening. That's why it's there. And if you want to think, what is this old crap? That's dog food and towels for car, for the car, <laughs> for the dogs. Um, this is my very, 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 very old uh, tripod. I'm looking at the monitor. I should look at you. Um, and this is extreme crap. But if I just put something on there, leave it there, it's fine. But if I want to do a movement, it's horrible. So look at, hear it to, listen to that movement. You cannot make a smooth movement. So when you move the camera, it's uh, 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 something like this. Same down. Because it's cheap crap. This was, I don't know, 15 euros at some point. But again, if I just have to put something on there and stays there, it's totally fine. That's why I'm keeping it. And my other uh, uh, tripod, you have seen it already. Um, it's uh, outside right now with a GoPro filming uh, star trails that I need for uh, a video in the beginning. And by the way, also this adjustment here and everything, again, it's it's fine. It does its job, but you cannot do any, any nice movement with it. Um, and the, the tripod outside doesn't have a handle. It's also, again, to stand somewhere, but it does it does it way better it's easier to set up it can hold more weight and many times i need more than one tripod and that's why i bought this tripod so here it is this is the small rig i have to read it 3751 heavy duty fluid head tripod ad01 <laughs> Um, heavy duty, it can withstand a bit of weight, but that wasn't my thing, uh, my main purpose. My main purpose was that it goes extremely high, I'll show you in a second, 1 meter 86 centimeters, so taller than me. Then it has a fluid head, which means that it has very smooth motion, i show you. So I can unlock this and then turn it, and it does it very smooth, there's no Oh, it feels awesome. I always look at the monitor. I should look at you. And then this down as well. And when you let it go, it goes back. Oh. <laughs> it goes into a balanced position. So for me, it was for movement, for keeping it steady when you do movements, because it's also a problem when the tripod is not, uh, not very heavy. And then you move it. Uh, uh, you get get shakes because the tripod overall is not steady, so you, have, you would have to hold it and then do the movement. It has this quick release plate that goes like this. I already have my uh, sec my <laughs> quick release thing on here, and you can just put it in and lock it into place. That's it. Um, and the height. So to adjust the height, you just open those three things and put it up. And that's step one already. And I have to go back so you can see all of it in its glory. And bing. <laughs> and that's the height. <laughs> I can almost go underneath it. 
I don't need that very often, but sometimes you want to film something just a bit higher, at least my eye level. And here I can do it with this then. Like I said, the other one can do movement and this one that you're on right now that I just showed you, it's just crap. And this is the first one that's a bit more heavy duty. You can spend a fortune on tripods. This was 170 euros. I will try it out, see if I need it, if I use it a lot. Again, I'm always looking at the, at the monitor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I see if I really use it, if, if it's needed. Um, and then if I use it, I keep it. Simple. Next is this monitor. It's a camera monitor with a HDMI in, HDMI out. My Sony A7S III has a full HD, 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 HDMI out. And the, why I got this one, this was 300 euros, is it's extremely bright, 206,000 nits. So even in daylight it should be fine. It has a lot of features that are great, but I won't use them. So ZBrush, if something in your picture is too bright, focusing, peaking, false color and all of this that I won't be using. I just needed to see. My problem is with this camera and other cameras, the display is on this side here. And when I film something and I'm here, I only can see half of the display or the screen of the camera. I don't know if I'm in frame. So I'm always guessing. And this I can put on top. It's, uh, I would say, six times bigger or even more than, than the, the display on the camera. I can see it very well. And again, it's bright and it should also be have, have great um, viewing angle. So when, when you're not perfectly straight, you should st still be able to see it. The monitor that I had before that I sent back for 170 euros was very dark, couldn't see it in the, uh, in the daylight. And if I was just a bit off, I couldn't see anything. I, I tried to do just pictures with it. It wasn't just wasn't working. It was for nothing. And that's why I got this one. This one is the Deskview R7 version 2 7 inch monitor. Um, it, it's, it's HD resolution, not 4K, but it can take 4K. So when, when I'm filming 4K, it still works. So that's cool. I can put LUTs on there if I want to, but I'm not gonna do that again. I tried LUTs for a while, but then I used it. So uh, in the Sony, in most cameras, you can set your color profile, picture profile to very flat. So on the, on the Sony, for example, uh, the, the Cine, three I don't know <laughs> it the name the main the main thing that you use and uh, C log S log 3 that's it <laughs> S log 3 and then uh, afterwards you have to color grade it put a lot on it so it looks normal again and the good the, 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 the positive about is when you use this picture profile and it's too bright outside or too dark you can still uh, get it to work in, in post and when, when you don't use it and it's too bright, it's just too bright. There's nothing you can do about it. In this, you can put a lot already on there that you want to use because on the camera, it looks very desaturated and weird and very grainy. And here you can put your lot on there so you can already see how it will look like in real life. Uh, again, I don't think I will do that, but it's nice to have if I want to do that. And I can put software updates on there. I have a, a, a D, uh, can put with DC, but I'm uh, powering it with a battery that I will come to in a second. Oh, and I can mount it to the side as well. I just see that now. I didn't know that. And we have an HDMI in, an HDMI out, and here uh, power. And we have a few buttons here, but it's touchscreen, so I don't need the button buttons, but there are. Um, f um, how do you say that? Um, shortcut buttons that you can use it right away. With it came came this little thing that this put on your cold shoe of the camera and this you screw into the monitor. Where are we? 
it also works 10 times better than with the cheap monitor that I had the last time. Screwing in didn't even work. I remember that. And then you have, can put it on your camera and you can open this and change the, the angle if you want that. So this is cool. With it, of course, I bought an HDMI cable, 50 centimeters, as short as possible, so there's not 10,000 cables around. I could have gotten a thinner one, to be honest, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to move around with it when the monitor is on. And last but not least, the battery for this thing. This wasn't included. There's not a battery included. By the way, the cable too. There's a HDMI full to HDMI mini. But I need two, so full HDMI, big on both sides. This was not included. This is the typical Sony NPF battery. But this is cool, it's not original. But this I can charge with USB on the battery itself. <laughs> and I thought that's neat. So I don't need a charger, the battery is also the charger. And this goes back in here. And makes a noise and then I can turn it on and then it's on and it's touchscreen like I said it's looking for for to see something but there's nothing there and it shows me the audio but it did the, the other thing did that as well that's nice to see very far I would love to see uh, the, 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 the data for example that is recording and everything on here but I can, I can mirror what I see here on here but then it's it it's only takes up this space, not the full space. It's only then three to one. And I would love to have, it's nice to have it even bigger. So I, I just need to see a red line and I can see it from here as well. So that works. Uh, my uh, microphone that you can see, it's the same as this, but this is Rode Wireless Mic 2. I made a video about my mics with the one and I have the two on the camera right now. And this is, to also to put it on a, a cold shoe mount like this and since this takes up the cold shoe mount this would just be dangling around and that's why I bought this little thing which has three cold shoe mounts around it so the mon monitor comes up here and the microphone can be here on the side so for example I can do this well if it would go in it does and I can put this on the side and it's in and this can then go on the camera like on this one as well and then the cable is going out of here and goes into this is not the camera I could use it with uh, with this cable because this has just a mini HDMI but this is how you put it on and look how big that is I mean that the, the A7S3 has a bigger one, but just by a little. Um, but look at the, the size difference. And again, it's not blocked when it's... And uh, if I want to, I can turn this. And this I can turn. <laughs> it's just how it is. And so I will try that out. If this is something helpful, what I need. That's for the new stuff. Bye.